On the one hand, you have one of the best that Android has to offer, and on the other, one of the best that Windows Phone has to offer. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the Samsung Galaxy S4 versus the Nokia Lumia 928. Obviously, this is mostly a battle of Android versus Windows Phone, but until we get to the software, this battle is basically Samsung and Nokia. The Samsung Galaxy S4 sports the same tried and true design as many of their previous offerings, most notably the Galaxy S3. Despite being covered in the plastic that many are growing tired of, the form factor of the S4 undoubtedly makes it the best handling 5 inch screen device today. Its button layout is standard, with the tactile home button and the usual Samsung power and volume layout. The back is removable, giving access to the removable battery and SD card slot. In the hand, its balanced lightness makes it as nimble as a device of its kind can get. Over to the Nokia Lumia 928. Rather than take on the pretty typical rounded look, the 928 brings it back to the more rectangular look we don't see enough of. Rigid corners and flat sides make it easy to grip. With a 4.5 inch screen, the entire body benefits and is thus easy to handle with one hand. Capacitive keys line the bottom of the front and all the tactile buttons are on the right side. Volume, power, and two-stage camera button. Around the back, this white edition is accented by the camera optics atop a black line down the middle. It is a phone that is as easy in the hands as it is on the eyes. The Lumia is definitely a looker. It is simplistic in its black and white profile, but its rectangular form makes those colors pop. But don't forget about that great 5-inch screen on the S4. It is still the best handling one out there. Speaking of the Galaxy S4 screen, the 5-inch display is this year's forte, though we might find that the ones found on these two devices have more in common than you may think. The S4 display is capable of 1080p resolution at 441 ppi. Being a Super AMOLED screen, it brings very saturated colors that are thankfully customizable for those who want to tone it down. Sharpness is great, and it handles all media beautifully. Enter the Nokia Lumia 928, whose display is a 4.5-inch 1280 by 768 display. It also sports lowered pixel density at 332 ppi. These lowered specs are somewhat expected due to the smaller screen, but pretty much everyone will find the experience still very enjoyable. Text might not be as sharp as found on the S4, but the general user's eye will likely not notice the difference. This display is also a Super AMOLED unit, bringing it the same color saturation that this time greatly complements the motif of Windows Phone 8. Viewing angles do suffer a bit in the 928 though, as angles bring a bluish hue throughout the screen. Nonetheless, it is a good display that brings a color experience similar to the S4. So it comes down to how hungry you are for the specs. If you need a larger screen with a higher resolution and pixel density, the S4 fulfills it all. But if you aren't quite as picky, the Lumia should still please. The performance aspect might seem pretty skewed. Samsung outfitted the Western Galaxy S4 with a processor package that powers the best out there. The Snapdragon 600 clocked in at 1.9GHz and backed by the Adreno 320 and 2GB of RAM. There's no denying how fast this phone is and how much multitasking you can easily get done. Even if a number of users report very sporadic lag, it doesn't hinder an otherwise good experience. Nonetheless, you may want to be on the fastest of the cutting edge and thus the S4 is the one for you. On the other end, the Nokia Lumia 928 sports the Snapdragon S4 Plus, a dual-core variant of the same quad-core processor that powered some of the best last year had to offer. It comes in at 1.5GHz and is backed by the also lower Adreno 225 and just 1GB of RAM. Now in the Android space, all of this would be considered mid-range, but what the 928 reminds us is not all user experiences are created equal. That's not to say Windows Phone 8 is any better or worse in use than Android, it just demands less. The Lumia is still very quick and smooth through its elements, and I have yet to over multitask on it. We'll get to the software soon, but rest assured that the Lumia sets out to do what it needs to do, and does it well. Hardware is a story of, what else can you do? We start with the Samsung Galaxy S4, and all of the different features we're sure you know about already. Other than having the all-important expandable memory and replaceable battery, the S4 is able to measure or track pretty much anything you throw at it. An IR blaster controls your TV, while sensors for temperature, air gestures, hovering fingers, or even tracking your eyes made it into this phone. It's capable of a great deal of things, and if you need the ability to do all of them, then it stands alone in functionality. With the Lumia 928, what you see is what you get. But what you get happens to work really well. If the Galaxy S4 is already good at what we are used to, and then excels at trying to do more, the 928 is definitely a phone that excels at the basics. 32GB of RAM are available here and almost all of it is open to you. 
With all the typical inclusions of Wi-Fi, GPS, NFC, and Bluetooth, everything you are already familiar with in a smartphone comes with the Lumia. Call quality is good on the Lumia as its speaker is louder than the pretty standard performing one on the S4. If you go too loud though, details in the call sound will be blown out. Its rear speaker is also louder than that on the S4, but it suffers from the same problem. Go too loud and there will be more noise than sound. The S4 is a functionality beast, but if you want to just get back to basics, the Lumia is a fine choice. The batteries on both devices do their jobs quite well. The 2600mAh unit in the Galaxy S4 goes up against the 2000mAh unremovable unit in the Lumia 928. The capacity of the S4 battery is not only more than that of the Lumia, it can also take advantage of spares. In sheer usage, however, I found that both batteries managed to get through just about the same full day of work. Power users may wish to take advantage of spare units with the S4, but either one will perfectly suit the general user. Now we get to the cameras, both of which sit atop the game in quality. The 13 megapixel optics of the Samsung Galaxy S4 are backed by an app that holds a lot of functionality underneath the usual point and shoot. You get a ton of modes to make your smartphone photography even more versatile, like best modes, drama, and eraser modes. It's packed with quite a lot. Pictures are generally very good with nice detail and vibrancy despite sometimes scenes with too much color looking a little bit washed out. The Lumia 928 on the other hand sports an 8.7 megapixel shooter but is backed by a slew of enhancements, Carl Zeiss optics, pure view stabilization, and a xenon flash. Nokia looked to make its camera rival the best out there and spared no expense in outfitting it with everything it needed. While the pictures aren't as large as the S4s, they hold just as good quality, and lower light shots benefit from pure view, though having a xenon flash helps too. For more fun modes, downloaded add-ons called lenses can help with that. Both cameras manage to pack good quality into highly functional apps. While the S4 has all of its capabilities baked in, the Lumia 928 can be further expanded provided new lenses are consistently created. Either way, both cameras will make capturing the moment pretty fun. And finally, we get to the software. And you can pretty much tell how this will play out. Samsung packed a load of software into the S4 with additions like S Health, Group Play, and Watch On apps. While they all bring some new uses to the typical smartphone experience, the crux of the additions lies within the navigation. By taking advantage of every sensor, you find new ways of getting around the phone. Wave your hand or hover your finger over something and you get more out of what you are already used to doing. The S4 also benefits from one of the largest mobile ecosystems. The Play Store has grown a lot over the years and now houses some of the best and greatest that are available to any user. Now if we look to the Lumia 928 and its Windows Phone ecosystem, it might remind us of Android back in its early years. Not only is there a real lack of variety in the Microsoft Store, it will still be a long time before any real growth can be felt by its users. But as I said before, what the Lumia 928 succeeds in is what is already built in. Baked-in applications are included because they are reliable and work wonderfully. The live tiles do a great job of showing you extra information elegantly. Even social media presence is felt in the Windows Phone integration. Sign into Facebook using the People app and you can look at the news feed without needing the official application. The motif of Windows Phone 8 is supposed to remain stylish while being very intuitive. And one can argue that a phone like the Lumia is perfect for anyone who would otherwise get bogged down by the sheer enormity of an ecosystem like Android or iOS. What you see is what you get, and you can get back to the basics. You'll get whatever you need done in either phone. It's more a matter of how you want to go about it, and if you want extra ways of doing so. We end on price. The Galaxy S4, being Samsung's flagship, comes in at up to $700 for the base model, unlocked. Nokia's Lumia 928 with its lesser specs can boast a price tag of $499. The same goes for two-year contracts, as the $199 S4 holds a premium over the $99 Lumia on contract. And so, there you have it. If you're looking for the best that Android has to offer, the Samsung Galaxy S4 sits at the top among the best. It certainly gives people wanting more out of their smartphones exactly what they're looking for. But if you just want to get back to basics, the Nokia Lumia 928 with its Windows Phone 8 operating system definitely has your back. If the Windows Phone ecosystem can get a pretty big boost, it could eventually become a credible threat to the bigger dogs in the game. But until then, us Android users, probably don't have a whole lot to worry about. And that'll just about do it for this edition of Versus. If you want to see the full reviews for both of these devices, check out the links over on the side. Don't forget to drop us some likes on our videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And then when you're done with all that, head over to androidauthority.com for all of the best coverage because we're your source for all things Android.